Hey everybody, this is 40 Warrior. This is Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. On the older PS1 games I have. And believe me, I have quite a few of them. Why am I doing this? Well, this is my audition vid for the underdog LPs. So, if it's to their liking, maybe it'll be up. Who knows? But anyway, what am I doing here? Um, what I'm doing is, I'm gonna be doing the first level and possibly the second level of the game. This is the very first level, Wabbit on the Run. As you can see, 9 clocks and 22 golden carrots. I'll explain them a little further. That's right now. Let's enjoy the cutscenes. Today's hunt is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Hey! What's up, dog? Wabbit, Wabbit! Yeah, Wabbit, Wabbit, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was Elmer Fudd, by the way. Um, every single time period, there's six of them and all, have a, an enemy. Like, one is Witch Hazel, one is Marvin the Martian, and one is Yosemite Sam. Now, you see shadows like these, that usually means a good thing. Still shadows, I mean. And every time you see track marks, that means you could probably drag something over. In this case, this rock. And that is Golden Carrot. A Golden Carrot can unlock a bonus level. 50, 150, and 250 golden carrots will each unlock bonus levels, which will allow you to gain a clock. Now you're probably wondering, well that's fine dandy, what does that mean? Or why would you do that if you're just getting three clocks? The object of the game is to get clocks. 120 of them beats the game. So now it sounds like a really small number, 3 to 120. But really, what it means is, there are 124 clocks in all in this game. So, if you ignore the golden carrots, you'll have to collect every single golden car every single clock in the game, pretty much. This is a carrot. When you have full health, it ups your counter. When you get 99 of these, you can use them to collect um, a few golden carrots. And this is a cacti. Hey! It is not a cactus. It is not your friend. So don't act like it was. When you get damaged, so as you see right now, most enemies do a half carrot damage, some do a full. And when Bugs loses all his carrots, he dies. But when you collect a carrot when you're down, it doesn't count toward your counter, but you gain, um, you gain health. Now this is a clock. The most important piece in the game. So how do we collect this one, you ask? Well, Bugs has a roll function. If there's a tiny little area, you can roll right through it. <laughs> one down, 119 to go. Now, like I said before, this has about... This has nine, car nine clocks and 22 golden carrots in it. You can launch off these little things and to a teeter rock. Now, the teeter rock, well, as you imagine, is a seesaw, pretty much. Not that difficult, but, you know, it is what it is. And this is a sign. You hit R1, this is not playing on the PS1 version. Brontosaurus Bridge, jump on it. Dun, 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 dun. Tonto, jump on it, jump on it. Shit. <laughs> Don't jump on it. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Come on me, this isn't rocket science, you've done this a hundred times in the past. Thank you. Now this is a spinning shadow. You want to avoid these at all costs because Crush! Yeah, they'll do that. And this is an enemy, a caveman. Most enemies in the game can be beaten by stepping on their noggins and kicking them when they're down. Yes, kicking people when on the, when they're down is encouraged. As you can see, that jerk up there is trying to slow us up with stuff with rocks. And here is a wabbit hole. Dive right in, and it does various things for you. Such as light again our golden carrot. Another clock. <laughs> and our brontosaurus bridge. And, yeah. I've been in this game before, and I've collected every single clock. 
and <laughs> almost every single golden carrot. There are 333 golden carrots in all, and I've collected this is about 329. Stop it! I want to jump over to the other side. Thank you. Good brontosaurus. Good herbivore. Yes, brontosauruses were herbivores. This is a checkpoint. This loony hat right here is both a checkpoint and a save point. Hello, Trevor. That's Merlin. Here. Let me save your position. To explain more about the game, Bugs got I lost in time by activating a machine that he shouldn't have, and Merlin's been helping him by telling him basically what to do. I'm gonna skip right by this guy. Now, remember what I said about rolling into small areas? Well, guess what? You can roll into this one! Yes! <laughs> Fine, I'll kill you. Jeez. I don't really kill anything that doesn't give you a golden carrot, but whatever. Teetering things like this can be kicked. Now, one thing I didn't mention about these spinning things... You can lure some enemies under them. And when you do that... Yeah, you can lift small rocks, but... Not worth in this... in this level. They will be in later levels. But what I was saying is, you can lure some enemies underneath, and they'll get crushed by them. In fact, it's probably the only way to inca incapacitate some enemies. Albert Fudd! How you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, you have to step on Elmer Fudd to get to get up here. You can't you can't beat him, so don't try. Besides, Bugs never actually, you know, defeated him, he just kept bamboozling him. Great! Since we have a little pause here, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 23, I'm a grad student currently, and I've been LPing on and off for two years. Usually when I was in college, I never did an LP. But when I was out of college, I usually I usually did some LPing. And I LP pretty much now to just act as a release, since usually I'm inundated with work. With school work. I do not take kindly to that. A roll does attack, by the way, as well. And here is another golden carrot and another clock! <laughs> if you're getting the impression right now, clocks are sometimes very well hidden, other times not really. Golden carrots aren't well hidden at all. And sometimes they're just downright ridiculously easy to get to. Another sign, look is Be very, very quiet, sweet big pterodactyl. Sneak. Shh, we gotta sneak. He must not know we exist. That's the 8th clock. The ninth one's right here. This should be fine enough to go normal voice. Okay. Great! Hey, Pterodactyl, I'm over here! Come and get me! Pterodactyls must not have had good hearing. If you don't, if you don't sneak, the Pterodactyl will get angry, wake up, and pretty much send you right back to the beginning of the area. Just an annoyance. Now, you remember, there was a golden carrot in this little area. Well, if you drop down here, you wake up the pterodactyl who doesn't have anybody to latch onto, which is not a consequence, and you get the last golden carrot. As you can see, 9 clocks, 22 golden carrots. And 9% through the game. Now, let's sneak. This is a wabbit hole. When you see a vortex like this, that's the exit. Most levels will have that to end it. So I thought I should point it out. Great! Just perfect! You have completed this level! Yay!
As you collect clocks, you unlock more levels. Bye. Some you Come can only on, unlock Blue. later in the game, some beforehand. Take this one for example. It requires 80 clocks, so we will be here later on. You also unlock more um, time periods, like that Hey What's Up doc. That is in the pirate years. We won't be going to that, because we are running at 10 minutes. But, you know what? A little bonus for just bearing with me, which I thank you for. Guess who needs a kickstart? This is a, bo a boss level! There are a bunch of boss fights that are really, you know, just boss fights. Nothing special, just, you know, comical. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> now we're fun hunting rabbits again. How cute. Oh no, it's a stereotypical prison scene! Run, now we're fine, I don't want to see it! Ouch! Okay, so you just saw the way to beat our fun! So let's do it! Dive in a rabbit hole, get out of here. He bends over and assumes the position, and you come up right behind him and hear the best ouch ever. Ouch! I love that sound, I really do. Ouch! Do this three times, he's toast. Ouch! Come here, buddy. No skewering today. Wabbit. Word of advice, our fud. Don't hunt wabbits. They don't give you much Ouch. food. Great. Why you would hunt wabbits is beyond me, because what do wabbits give you? Like a couple a couple pounds of food? Back in the old days, if you found like a bigger animal, you would want to kill that because that those things give you up to like 50 pounds of food and last you a lifetime. Well, not a lifetime, but you know, a week at least. Wabbit doesn't really get you that luxury. So let's get out of here. And that was Guess Who Needs a Kickstart. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Damn right. Let me say And this is where I'm gonna end this video. Bye. So Yay. I thank the Goodbye, underdog Mario. LPs for um providing the opportunity. And thank you for watching, of course. If you like what you see, let me know what you liked about, what you didn't like about it, what I can improve, and everything else like that. But as for right now, this is 40 Warriors signing off. Bugs take a bow. He can't bow, so I'm gonna have to do the, these honorary dives to salute. And remember, a wabbit's foot is supposed to be good luck. But a wabbit kick probably isn't. Oh, he's, south he's a southpaw kicker. I didn't know that. 40 Warriors signing off. <laughs>